you we're gonna uh, review how to use your proxy files recording uh, on the Sony a6 4000 usually you would want to work with the proxy files to lower your time and and uh, for a faster editing uh, meaning that if you use your full size or full resolution video it will take a little bit more time if you don't have a computer that can handle those kind of files so creating proxies when you're importing video it's a very easy way to just create a smaller size uh, video and being able to work faster but in this case uh, Sony a6 uh, a6400 um, or a6400 uh, have the option to record simultaneously a proxy file and I find it pretty useful since uh, you don't have to create it already it's already been made and so you don't really need to check any of this right here but that's the way that you would usually do it so what you want to do is uh, I've already created here on the desktop a folder called project it's empty right now but what I'm gonna do it's I'm gonna open uh, finder here and I'm going to my SD card and then from there I'm gonna go to private and for root and clip is where all these full size full resolution files will be at and they follow a sequence in numbers this is C0003 4 and so if you go to sub folder you'll find the same videos but these are the smaller size renders this is the proxy files and they will follow a SO3 extension on it and that's how you can kind of kind of uh, identify they are proxies but even if you hit the spacebar to play you can see that the, that the size of the player it's smaller so this is a bigger size and this is a smaller size but you can also get that info here so this is 21 megabytes and the original file is 109 megabytes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the files that I'm gonna I will be using if you don't for this video I'm just gonna drag four and I'm gonna put them on my project so once they're on my project I can now import them into Final Cut Pro and let's say um, that I'm editing I'm making cuts and I'm just doing my um, my sequence here so this would be my my final job here and right now it's playing the lower quality images uh, or videos and you can easily apply uh, like adjustment layers on it you can put titles on top You can also add a color grade into it. Let's apply a lot here. I have already. So as you can see, the the rendering time is not as heavy as it would be on if you were working with uh, a bigger size video. So once it's done rendering uh, and you're okay with the final results here you just you can just preview it here and let's say that you already you're ready to export uh, so now you're uh, you want to substitute your proxy files for the original size so all you have to do is you come out here you go back to your files and you want to delete these or you can just move them out of the folder for this video I'm just gonna go ahead and delete so when you come back to Final Cut Pro the files are missing so now you come back to project go back to your SD card find out your bigger size files and I'm gonna go ahead and rename it I'm gonna go ahead and rename to um, SO3 
I had already typed here, but you would want to do add text after name. And you're basically just renaming to the same file it's because you want to replace. So I'm going to hit rename. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag this to project. Once they're on, back in the folder, you can come back to your project. And that's it. Your full size videos uh, are on your project. Now you might be wondering uh, if it works by just dragging, by renaming and then dragging and replace. I'm not sure, you can try it. I tried it once and it did not work. So I found it easier just to delete the items and then renaming, renaming uh, the, the files on, on the folder and then just drag them. That's the easiest way that I found. I kept on getting errors for some reason. That's why I'm just doing it like that. But you can try it. That's pretty much it. You can now keep on working, rendering your files, and have fun.